It might seem very unlikely to say that SpaceX is actually close to achieving their huge goals of reaching the Moon and Mars. Some might even argue that we lack the technology or capability to make such giant leaps within the next decade. But that's where they're mistaken. When you look closely at the progress SpaceX has made over just the past five years, you'll see they're serious about their goals. And in the next five years, they plan to do things that might seem unbelievable today. The Starship rocket is clearly their biggest weapon to achieve this goal. Recently, the CEO Musk shared new details that showed just how important Starship is to SpaceX's future. In this video, we're going to explore those details. Before we go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up with all the latest news on Starship and other amazing achievements from SpaceX. Musk first introduced the Starship during a presentation in September 2019. During this event, Musk expressed high hopes for Starship, noting its potential to lead humans to Mars. Since then, SpaceX has made significant progress by developing dozens of prototypes for both the Starship and its booster. These prototypes have not only been constructed, but have also undergone extensive testing to refine their designs and functionalities. To date, SpaceX has conducted three notable orbital flight tests with these prototypes. The first orbital flight test occurred on April 20, 2023, involving prototypes Ship 24 and Booster 7. Unfortunately, the vehicle was lost just under four minutes after launch. Despite the setback, this test set a record for the most powerful rocket stage ever launched due to its massive thrust capacity. The second test followed on November 18, 2023, and also ended in failure. However, it introduced new techniques such as hot staging and a water deluge system at the launch pad. Despite successful booster and ship separation, the mission encountered issues with several engines shutting down prematurely, leading to the loss of the booster. The third orbital flight test took place on March 14, 2024. This test was notable for several milestones. Ship 28 successfully separated from its super-heavy booster and reached orbital velocity. Unfortunately, SpaceX lost contact with Ship 28 during its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, and it did not achieve a planned splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Now, as we eagerly await the fourth flight test of the Starship, we were all thinking it would be pretty much the same as the last three launches. Send up the rocket, get it into orbit, and then splash it down into the ocean. But Musk threw us a curveball with his latest plan. He said that this time they're going to try landing the Starship's booster with something called a virtual tower. This could really change how SpaceX reuses their rockets. The virtual tower isn't a physical structure like the Mechazilla Tower. Instead, the virtual tower is a system that uses precise guidance and control algorithms to simulate the functions of a physical tower during the landing process. This means the booster will be guided to land in a way that mimics landing on an actual tower, but without needing the physical tower itself for this test. The reason Musk is opting for this virtual approach over using the actual Mechazilla Tower is, this allows SpaceX to test and refine the landing technology in a controlled and somewhat less risky environment before moving on to the more complex Mechazilla, which involves the chopsticks mechanism. These chopsticks are designed to catch the booster mid-air. Depending on the results from the virtual tower landing attempt, SpaceX will assess the precision of the system. If the outcomes are promising, they might move forward with using the actual Mechazilla tower for the fifth flight. Seeing this giant mechanism in action for the first time will truly be an exciting moment to witness. Usually, when we talk about reusable rockets, we think of rockets like Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, which aren't fully reusable. Only the boosters of these rockets land back on Earth and fly again, making them partially reusable. But Starship is set to be very different. It's going to be the first fully reusable rocket ever to lift off. The Mechazilla Tower is designed to catch both the booster and the Starship mid-air and land them safely back on Earth. Musk didn't just discuss the virtual tower. He also shared exciting details about the future size of the next-generation Starship. His revelation came after he responded to a post on Twitter comparing the sizes of various rockets. Musk tweeted, The Starship stack will probably approach 140 meters over time. 
which would make it a few meters taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza, standing at 137 meters. This put Starship in the running to be the biggest rocket in the world. With a thrust capacity of 7.5 million kilograms, it's roughly double that of NASA's space launch system, making it the largest and most powerful rocket ever designed. Now, it might seem like if the rocket is big, it can carry enough fuel to reach destinations like the Moon and Mars, but the thing is, the larger the rocket, the more fuel it consumes. This increased consumption means that simply enlarging the rocket isn't always the most efficient solution. That's why SpaceX is working very hard on the idea of orbital refueling. Orbital refueling is a groundbreaking technique that involves transferring fuel between spacecraft while they are in orbit. This allows the Starship to carry less fuel during liftoff, which can significantly increase the payload capacity for longer missions. Instead of loading up with all the fuel needed for a round trip, Starship could refuel from a tanker spacecraft already in orbit. Musk emphasizes that perfecting this orbital refueling technique is very important for the success of future of the rocket. Looking ahead, SpaceX has a series of planned tests and developments for Starship. Only in 2024, SpaceX aims for at least nine launches throughout the year. Musk's vision extends even beyond this. He is aiming for a staggering production rate of 1,000 starships per year. Achieving this would not only require refining the technology, but also significantly expanding the launch infrastructure. This includes building more launch pads and towers capable of supporting this high volume of launches. To support such a massive scale of operations, SpaceX continues to develop and expand facilities like the Starbase in Texas. There is also the issue of regulatory approvals. We've seen this with the FAA, which has caused delays for SpaceX in the past. Getting permission for each launch becomes a major problem when you're talking about launching 1,000 times a year. Musk and SpaceX recognize the need to improve their relationship with regulatory bodies like the FAA. It's not just about getting launches off the ground faster. It's also about ensuring safety and compliance. In another very important development, the Dream Chaser space plane is almost ready for launch after years of work. It's designed to be used up to 15 times. Right now, it's getting its final test done at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility and is planned to launch to the International Space Station in 2024. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.